Welcome to the weekly weed recap. You give me five-ish minutes of your time and I'll give you 15 talking points about the week that was in weed. I'm Andrew Ward and I'm still terrified of swimming alone in pools, but that's enough about me. On Monday, Connecticut sold a record amount of pot in August, totaling a whopping 25 million. That's the eighth consecutive month of sales records and the market's still going strong. And a slight bit of disappointing news, the Senate Banking Committee confirmed that the Safe Banking Act won't see a vote next week. As the philosopher Blue Cantrell once said, I've heard it all before, but don't worry, we'll get some better news about this one later in the week, so sit tight. Here's a bit of positive news. 70% of Cherokee tribal voters backed a legalization measure. If it opens up, this will be the first legal marketplace within North Carolina's borders. So good news for anyone trying to move to North Carolina. You finally got a legal weed hookup now. I hear Asheville is the new Austin, or whatever the fuck that means. Moving to Tuesday. TikToker infamous ex Drew had quite the adventure when he was kicked off his cruise in Jamaica for carrying licensed medical marijuana. This is an unfortunate lesson learned. Those med cards don't mean much in those foreign countries and sometimes not even in neighboring states. So watch your ass. New York approved its rec regulations expanding licensing to all applicants, including the state's 11 existing medical operators. This decision sparked both excitement and frustration within the advocacy and capitalist wings of the cannabis community, like it has with every decision made so far. It's been quite a mess. And in a move that screams bitch-assness of the highest order, 14 GOP congressional lawmakers urged the GEA to keep cannabis as a Schedule One substance. Bitch-assness is rampant. Yo, seriously, can we get some pragmatic lawmakers up in this bitch? I don't even give a fuck about age. Just stop being a bitch. On Wednesday, Fox News' The Ingram Angle saw host Laura Ingram claim that the broken promises of marijuana legalization are impossible to ignore. Seriously? Her. That's who we're listening to about weed? Or anything? Fuck out of here with that. I know I shouldn't give her press, but fuck her. Look at this photo. Nebraska launched its third attempt at medical marijuana legalization with another ballot initiative. Let's hope the third time's the charm and the bill reaches the November ballot. And in Alabama, Medella LLC is suing the State Medical Cannabis Commission for defamation. Who would have thought that Alabama's weed laws would allegedly be this messy? Everyone? All right, moving on. On Thursday, congressional researchers predicted that the DEA is likely to follow the HHS recommendation and reschedule marijuana. This could have far-reaching effects on various aspects of our lives, affecting areas like taxes, housing, immigration, military eligibility, and gun rights. It's a noteworthy half-step forward and does what most people have been fighting for for decades. you got to love government, don't you? It's incremental progress. And shout out someone a lot of you probably already know, Maha Hawk, a cannabis advocate, streamer, and influencer. She was featured in the LA Times for all her hard work. It's always great to see people normalizing cannabis in traditional media. More of that, please, and thank you. And the enemies. SFGate reports that 13 of Santa Barbara's 20 largest farms are now growing weed, beating out regional cash crop wine grapes. Now, I know this isn't blowback for the 2004 film Sideways fucking up the Merlot industry for like two decades, but I'm kind of hoping it is. I could use a marijuana Merlot tag team right now. I like that. It's a good revenge story. On a more serious note, a Brazilian photographer named Ricardo got in trouble after he forced a lit joint into a dog's mouth on social media. He was taken in by police, but we don't know if charges are being filed. Don't do that to your dogs, folks. Dogs trust you. They can't take THC. Don't break that trust. And yo, fuck Ricardo. You're a bitch-ass piece of shit. Allegedly. And I'm bringing it back like I said we would. Mark your calendars. The Senate Banking Committee is expected to vote on the Safe Banking Act on September 27th. Let's hope this helps move things forward and we can finally get some financial relief for the cannabis industry. Also, let's hope it finally brings an end to years of industry op-eds where people say, this is the year that safe banking passes. Now you have to get a new topic. Maybe. We'll see. And that's a wrap on the week that was in weed. Check the description for all the links to these stories so you can learn more. If you didn't see your top story, don't sweat it. Drop it in the comments down below so we can share even more news. The more the merrier. Just remember to stay up, stay informed, and stay lit. See you next week.